Hi everyone, it's Nick here from Notero. Today I'm gonna to go through a brief overview of the changes that we've made to our settings. There'll be other videos to follow exploring all the sections in details. So let's begin by clicking on the gear icon so settings are still found in its natural spot. And within settings, you'll quickly notice that there's a uh, reorganization. And so we have a section called base setup. So this is the the minimal amount of information you need to set up for your information and you can go through it fairly quickly and then everything else falls naturally in its category from billing to calendar insurance templates integrations and then your subscription so let's click on base setup and see how that is organized and so with base setup you have that top level clinic information your general information everything from your logo to your address to phone numbers that sort of information and then we have your locations directly underneath that and then this is where you would add your practitioners. We expose the practitioners. The assistants are also located in this section. And then you have your services, your service categories, um, also your products. And then if you need to restrict access for IP addresses, you find it in this general section, this base setup. And then your terms and your logs are also located here. If we go to our billing section, we now can see that this is where um, you'll have your invoice, what you want you to start your invoices. If you have a business number that you need to add, it will also go here. And then your discounts. So again, these are all natural things that would fi you'd find under the billing section. So you have your discounts, your clinic taxes, payment methods. And then if you are integrated with Square or Bambora, you'll find that as well in the billing section. Next is a calendar within the calendar section. We have, uh, you'll see we have online booking and then display time range. This is the calendar inside the application of the start and end time that you want it uh, to be displayed. And we have double booking mode. And then we have our insurance section. Right now this clinic is set, set up for an American clinic. So you can add your insurers, uh, your insurance codes as you normally would have and your form fields. And your form fields, again, are again depends on if you're an American Canadian, you can select uh, whatever is appropriate, and they're found uh, in this section. Um, and I'm gonna switch over to a Canadian clinic in a minute, and then you'll see uh, the difference uh, between these two pages. And the next is your templates. And so still within the, the template section, we will find our agreements and forms. So they're all on one page now, so you can see them together. And then the patient notification, so all your templates are together. One thing that we did move, uh, labels used to be under here, and labels now are all managed under uh, the patient listing page. I'll come to that in a minute. These are just the integrations that we have um, within the, the application. So we have MailChimp and Google Calendar, Square and Bambora. And if you're with the if you're in the American Clinic, we also will have availability, um, and then your subscription details are found here. So this is where you'd add your credit card. If you want to have any add-on information, you'll find it in this section here. Labels have now been moved to this section here. You'll add and manage your labels from the patient listing page. Um, so it's directly related to what you're doing in, on this patient listing page, and they'll act as filters. Um, let me just switch over. And now if I go to the insurance section, we know how our TELUS e-claims is found in this section here. And if I switch over, so there's been an update as well in here. So the admin section you can see only has profile information. So there was some confusion before because the admin section had a sort of a blending of the admin and practitioner. So it, it only has the information specific to the admin. So you have your general or your two-factor authentication for login, your auto logout, and your notification preferences and your TELC claims if you're a Canadian clinic. You can now switch your roles by just, uh, if you had a, if you were associated to another clinic or you had two clinics associated to uh, this user account, you can switch to another clinic or you can switch your roles here by clicking switch and I can move to the practitioner. And then the practitioner has only the things that are related to the practitioner. So if I click into the profile section, for example, this is where you'll obviously manage uh, the name, email, signature, two-factor, auto logout, professional ID numbers are, are associated here, as well as practitioner taxes, if you have taxes that you're gonna be collecting, collecting and remitting on behalf of yourself, and your notification preferences. And you'll have TELUS e-claims as well if you were in a, on the Canadian side. 
from the calendar perspective, you have your um, syncing of the calendars. If you wanted to use a non-Google calendar, you, you can still do it here. You got also connect your Google calendar at the top here. Uh, you, you'd manage your cancellations and your scheduling limits directly on this page, and then you'd add your snippets here. So that's a quick overview of where everything is located now. So if you're interested, you can subscribe if you'd like to be notified as new videos are released. And again, thanks for watching.